Good morning, gosh. It has been a busy morning getting this little one ready for school. Lots going on today. I'm dropping Rupert off at school, then going straight to pick up some Ikea furniture. We're doing a bit of a revamp. And then we've got something quite exciting that hopefully we'll be able to get in time. There's a way that you can like pimp up your Ikea furniture. We've contacted someone local who made our dining table from our old house. And he said that he'll be able to make us the top of the Ikea unit um, literally in a day. So it's all a bit of a rush. Let's go! We will, we will rock you. Shout out. We will, we will rock you. So while Jamie has to deal with the stress of the school run, I get a little bit of peace and quiet because it's feeding time. Feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> I'm gonna give Poppy a quick feed and then my plan is to get out of the house and go on a really nice long walk. Hopefully it's gonna be a productive day. I did not sleep well last night, but actually Jamie kept me up more than Poppy with his snoring and fidgeting, so I wasn't best pleased with him this morning. Poppy's doing okay. There's been a few tough weeks. I would say between four and eight weeks has been really quite difficult with sleep. She's been up sort of a lot in the night. Not like for any particular reason. She's not screaming. She's not really like crying. She's just awake. And I'm someone who loves a good routine. So I'm following wake windows during the day. She's really, really difficult to get down for naps. She'll, she'll only contact nap at the moment um, in the carrier. So I'm just kind of going with it. She's obviously really, really little. She loves being on me, on us. But I think over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna really try and make the most of the days when Rupert's at school to set up like a really good sleep environment for her um, and just see if I can start putting her down for naps because I'm not getting anything done. The housework has just gone out the window, but you know, I barely even can make myself like a cup of tea or make myself a sandwich. Like she's just constantly on me at the moment. I know so many of you out there will relate and understand. It's, it's a bit of a, the newborn phase is tricky. I'm excited for Jamie to then come back and we can start building this IKEA unit. I've been using Pinterest, Instagram, my sister um, did this hack with the Calax units from IKEA and it just looks amazing. So I'm really, really excited to get the wooden top sorted and um, I've ordered some nice little um, door handles from Amazon, just some little like gold brassy ones, I'll link them below. They were really inexpensive, I think they were like £20 for 10 um, So hopefully they're going to look really good. It's just nice to be able to like make a few changes, um, get a bit more settled. We are actually going to see a house this weekend. Fingers crossed the house is, is going to be quite sweet and we like it. Could it be the one? I don't know. Yeah, so Jamie should hopefully be back soon. I'm going to get ready for a walk, get out of the house and go and get some fresh air. o'clock and I'm out the house. I genuinely don't think that has happened in nine weeks. And I've got a little bit of makeup on. Who am I? Oh, this is lovely. I was feeling all chuffed with myself. Went to turn on my headphones so I can listen to a nice podcast and they're out of juice. No charge. So now I'm just walking through the forest with headphones on, but nothing's coming out of them. So, um, I succeeded in some areas, but I failed in the headphone department. The problem with living in the middle of nowhere is that there's only really one walk I can do out of the house. It's a five kilometre loop. Jamie, I'm sure he'll update you, but he went to see his um, knee surgeon yesterday because he's obviously training for the London Marathon, but his knee's been causing him a lot of issues. So he went to go see the guy who operated on his knee back way back when he was like 18. Um, and he's had an x-ray, he's got to have an MRI scan. Overall, I think it sounds okay, but I think this is going to be the last marathon, guys. So we need to get behind him because training is hard. He's actually in quite a bit of pain and discomfort. So um, if you do want to sponsor Jamie, we'll put the link in the description below um, because it's going to be a bit of a slog, I think, for him. But we're hoping to go down there, me and the kids, to support him. Not sure what I'm going to do with two children standing in the London Marathon crowd. So if anyone's got any advice on the best places to stand, 
with maybe like a little bit of space, not too busy, please let me know in the comments section. Yeah, I'm gonna do this 5K loop. And by the time I'm back, I think Jamie will be back with the Ikea order. Well done, Daddy! What are we saying well done, Daddy, for? He pre-planned dinner tonight. He actually thought ahead and he already got it in. It's already in the fridge. I can't believe it. Sorry, I'm probably sounding a bit unfair on Jamie, but we've been together for 12 years and I don't think Jamie's ever planned more than 10 minutes ahead. So the fact that he's planned dinner tonight and he already bought sausages, we're gonna have sausages tonight, is quite an achievement. So credit where credit's due. Right, managed to put this little one, my little Velcro baby, down in the bouncer for probably, she'll do maybe five, 10 minutes while I quickly wash up. And I'm hoping Jamie will be home soon. He's taken a while. Where are you, Jay? Stop me now. I'm having such a good. I need to make sure you know. That you. Oh, this has the awesome bit at the end. I say awesome. It was all Jake. The music production is actually really good because I'm normally not very happy. So I need to check if this song was done by Jake. Ah, that's Jake on the guitar. So maybe it was Jake. And it's also him, drums. And yes, I was just recording on my laptop. <laughs> right, let's go pick up these units and then, what was it, go make them? Oh, well that was nice and easy. He's back. I'm back, I've got lots of Ikea stuff. Yeah. Still more to come. It's going over there and then the TV's going on the wall. Right, let's get going. This is the before and ta-da! The tops look absolutely incredible. I'm obsessed. I love them. So we actually got these from um, a local company called Pennywood Bespoke. And Jamie left me this morning and took Rupert to the workshop because it was like a bit of a, you know, like a How It's Made program. Oh, it was so much fun. Really cool. So they very kind of, we went to collect them and they said, you want to come and have a look and see how we do it. So you took Rupert and he had so much fun. Um, so Sam and the team, they're brilliant. They can make basically make any top to fit your piece of furniture. It's like how many people at home have Ikea? Oh, so much. Yeah, like so much. Like the Ikea part is so affordable. Um, and then being able to like pimp it up with something like this, it's just Make them look really, 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 nice. really nice. So if you've got like Ikea furniture at home and you're thinking, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind doing this. And um, then Sam and the team at Pennywood Bespoke, they're looking to do way more things like this. So. Um, We'll put their website in the description so you can go and take a look. But as I said, you took Rupert and he had a blast. Oh, he absolutely loved it. Have a look and see how they make them. Good morning. It is fresh this morning, isn't it, Roops? Is it cold? Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. We're running a little bit late. We are picking up our pieces of wood for Rupert's new toy storage unit, the IKEA Pimp Up. And hopefully we'll be able to see some cuttings and finishing. He's going to show us how he makes it. And then if you guys wanted to buy one, he's on Etsy. Should we get in? Yeah! Oh, Rupert, what a beautiful mo Look at this. I'm gonna have to stop. I know, I know, I'm late. Uh, we're running late, but look at this. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I don't know what it is about Norfolk, but the sunrise and sunsets are just absolutely spectacular. It is freezing. We're late. We better get going. What are we gonna go see? Wood. Wood being? It's cold. It's cold. Is this going to be your new table? Your new tabletop? And you can put all of your toys on it. Can you come and pick a colour? We've just picked up the wood from Pennywood, bespoke. I even got to um, use the branding iron, which is cool. So yeah, they're looking good. I can't wait to put them in place. One of them is gonna be Rupert's stage, isn't it? Yeah. We can do some singing. Yeah. The place is on a farm though, and there's excavators everywhere, there's tractors. So we're just gonna have a quick look at the tractor. Huge. Oh, we love tractors, don't we? I'm going that one. Not that one. 
We don't know whose that one is. No. Should we climb in the car, go home, yeah. and we put the wood on top of your units? Yeah. Should we put it on and see your stage? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Righty then. on your top? Wind. Are you still in the Christmas spirit? Roots, what do you think of your toy storage? Good. Can you show me where your trains are? Which one's got your trains in? This one! Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And would you be able to sing us one song on your new stage? Baba! Off you go. Is anyone ringing? Say hello. Press the button. Yeah? It might make a noise. It might. It might scare Poppy. Oh, <laughs> so considerate. Poppy might be brave. She'll, She'll be, be brave, yeah. yeah. <coughs> She's awake! <coughs> oh, Poppy. Oh, sweetheart. <gasps> Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, sorry we missed last week again. <laughs> we are um, slowly dipping our toe into 2024 at the moment. But yeah, that's it from us. So as I said, we're off to see a house tomorrow, so we'll have to update you on that next week. Fingers crossed. And the very, very final thing, most important thing before we forget, is that Sam and the team at Pennywood Bespoke have given everyone a 10% discount code. So we've popped that in the description. So that's very kind of them. So thank you, Sam. Like a sky. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does.